The landscape in the Newton area is wide and sunny, providing a good environment for pineapple farming. Life is simple and pastoral in nature. Adama Bangura and Saudiatu Kabia are pineapple farmers in the vicinity. Both are in their 20s and have become farmers of pineapples for various reasons. We meet Adama and Saudiatu at the end of the harvest season, both looking forward to a good harvest later this year. With many more years ahead of them, they have embraced the farming of pineapples as their specialization. For Adama Bangura, pineapple farming is a necessity, and at age 21, she is taking care of her son and herself while her partner looks for work in Freetown. No, you know, I'm going to go to school. My mom was not there for help me in school. I was in school, but because money was lacking, I decided to farm. I have been planting for more than three years now. Sometimes I make a profit or a loss. When I profit, I expand the farm. The farming helps me because it feeds me, because my husband is unemployed. Farming helps me with medical care for my family. I plant local vegetables like kling kling and sweet potato vines, but pineapple is the best because it helps me financially. Best, I can plant most. Saudi Atukabia is a living example of gender equity in land inheritance. Were it not for the land she farms, poverty could have been worse for her family. Should they help me? My wife should they take care of me? First, the garden, after God, the garden know they left me. I do not have anyone to take care of me or to help me except God. My only inheritance is the farm. My life is difficult in financial terms, like supporting my two children, our staple foods are cassava and potato, but we do not have enough for a daily basis. When I wake up, I feed my kids and then they join me in the farm. We do small maintenance, monitor the garden and its growth. We are progressing with the farm. We are thinking about weeding now and extending the farm. I also plant cream cream, cassava and potato vines. Five years have passed since I inherited my farm from my deceased father. Well, from since my daddy passed away, we left give me. It don't, it don't take so many years more. Adama has chartered her own path in life as a young woman, utilizing pineapples to alleviate poverty. Pineapples help me do great things. When I sell the pineapples, I am able to provide food and medicine for my children and any other miscellaneous problems I might have. My dream in life is to have my kids go to school and have a better education than me. I cannot go far my school because I don't get money. Saudiatu is poor, but realizing some financial benefits. Well, would they put them sometimes and they would they use them for buy food. We use our money for our daily needs, like clothing and food for the children, and save the rest for farm maintenance. Before farming, life was difficult, especially with two children. Things are improving, although thieves are stealing our pineapples. The rest of the harvest is good enough for us to manage our lives. With the demona, which more body half what they left, now we upkeep the manage with life. Adama is knowledgeable in using the seasons to predict her farm's annual productivity. You anyway, tell me. Come on, you are me. The other year. The other year, all the rain come, I get better pineapple. But this year, all the rain no come better. I no see better pineapple. When the rains were abundant, we had huge profits, which is good because thieves also raid the farms for the pineapples. But with the profits, I was able to make the farm bigger. 
the bigger the farm, the more profits I have. The money I get is maybe five, four or three thousand for ten or fifteen dozen heads of pineapple. And most times, people meet us to buy the pineapples. And look at together, inside for can buy. Adama is an organic farmer, a requirement which guarantees her and others like her a valuable niche market at a time when industrial farms are the biggest competition for smallholder farmers. The only maintenance is the weeding. I have to remove the weeds and thus clean the farm. That is all. We don't use any chemicals on it. We just take the pineapple head from the ripe fruit and replant. That is all. No chemicals. There is nothing special we use to improve the pineapple growth, except removing the weeds. To indicate that the fruit is ripe, it becomes yellow. I break it off, put in a bag, and sell it because the traders will be coming frequently to buy. I expect more better. Expect better. Saudiatu is also becoming a climate smart agriculturalist and is aware of the relationship between weather and harvest. Well, my own garden, although yes, snakes and they destroy, then if man and they go with Sunday, I can get them 10, 15 dozen. In my own section, despite the snakes and the thieves, I can harvest 10 to 15 dozen for the customers who come to buy for retail sales. This year, with sufficient rain, the pineapple will be abundant, but if the rains are not plenty, we will not have as much fruit. When the pineapple is ripe, it becomes all over yellow, and that shows that it's time to sell. Some people are too impatient and sell the green worms. Some are not the beer because of food shortage. No, no, the beer. So then we go sell land there for let them go able to provide food for their family. As the rains approach again, Adama is accustomed to the expectation and is on heightened alert for her adversaries, which are snakes among the weeds in the pineapple farm and human beings who steal the ripening fruit before they can be harvested. I do not know how the harvest will be this year. I am expecting the harvest to be better. Last year, I sold seven to eight dozen because we had a lot of thieves. But in a bumper harvest, I get 20, 30 or 40 dozen pineapples. The thieves come from other villages and even our own. They take the pineapples and sell them elsewhere. We operate a revolving loan scheme that we contribute to daily and we also have village savings that returns our contributions at the end of the year. When I sell my pineapples, I can contribute and expect to get my own share when it is my turn. Then I can pay the one to help me with the garden. I cannot do it because pineapple gardening requires shoes like rain boots. The boots yes, help because it protects against snake bites. Snakes are always present in pineapple farming, but I have never been bitten. Saudi Atu Kabia, like every woman, has her own aspirations and knows what it will take for her to improve in her chosen vocation. In the game, for send me picky and go to school for me and learn. So then go able to help me for the future. My dreams the are to educate my school. children so they can help me in the future and to for build myself, a house on my own myself. to take care of take my care mother of my and my family. My ambitions family. are to improve my garden, garden educate and myself and children and become and able to eat three times a day. We need hose, cutlasses, wheelbarrows, shovel, rain boots, 
protective clothing, gloves, and socks. Any business partner is welcome in my farm at any time because I would see that person as a true partner who wants to help us to improve farming and such a person would be welcome and have free access to the garden as long as it does not depreciate our lives. Such a person is welcome. As long as life still they continue, we welcome at the garden. But we will not get the chance. Only the input for the I would like someone to help me improve my inputs, but there has not been any opportunity for someone to give us help because rain boots are a problem and also cutlasses. I can use a cutlass, but I do not have one because it got lost in the farm, so I have to borrow one. Meanwhile, I suffice with slippers and long sleeves clothes so the pineapple do not wound me. If I wake so long, something the pineapple will me. For these women and dozens of women who are farming pineapples, there is an increasing demand signified by local consumption and the emergence of juice processing factories across the country. With hard work and prudence, women like Sariatu and Adama will be the front runners in an emerging industry that is destined for more success.